Today we'll be learning about the discriminant. As you see, I have put up the quadratic formula, which, which indicates b squared minus 4ac in red pen. So basically, the term inside the square root um, uh, is to determine what, the, what, um, what types of solutions a quadratic equation may have. For example, as you see, d is greater than 0 and d is equal to 0, and d is less than 0. And um, for each one, there are two, there are two different types. Uh, there are two different real solutions. There is a repeated real solution, and there are, diff and there are two different complex solutions. So the, the discriminant, um, basically, um, for, for each equation, tries to find out um, whether an equation has two different real solutions, a repeated real solution, or two different com complex solutions. Okay, so now let's find the discriminant of an equation. Okay, I'll give you an example of a discriminant. So now let's find the discriminant of an equation. Okay, so now let's do x squared plus 5x minus 1 equals 0. Okay, so the first step is to go A, B, and C. Okay, so by the way, I put up these two formulas. This one is used for, um, so D is used for uh, odd numbers, odd coefficients, and D over 4 is used for even coefficients. So in this case, the coefficient is odd. 5 is an odd number. And we take B. Okay, so we use the formula d equals b squared minus 4ac. So I'm going to write over here, b squared minus 4ac. So the first step is to go b squared. So in this case, b represented, is represented by 5. So we're going to go 5 squared minus 4 times a is represented by x, which is also known as 1. So negative 4 times 1. And c is represented as negative 1. Okay, so now 5 to the power of 2, 25. And minus 4 times 1 times negative 1. So we can write as minus 4 times negative 1. And then we can go 25 minus, uh, plus 4. And then 25 plus 4 is 29. And 29 is greater than 0. Okay, so 29 is greater than 0, which means... We'll take the first um, definition, which means there are there are two there are two different real solutions. Real solutions. Okay. So now let's solve another equation. Okay. So now let's solve three x squared plus 3x plus 1 equals 0. Okay, so now let's label it A, B, and C. Okay, so the first step is to look at the coefficient. Let's see if it's an odd or even number. So in this case, 3 is an odd number. So we take the definition of, so we use D is equal to B squared minus 4AC. Okay, so the first step is B squared. So in this case, it will be 3 squared minus 4 times a, which is 3, so times 3 times c, and then c is represented by 1. Okay, Okay. so 3 squared is 9, minus 4 times 3 is 12, and then times 1. Okay, so what's 9 minus 12? So in this case, it's minus 3, and minus 3 is less than 0, so we write it as minus 3 is less than 0. Okay, so now we have to take the third definition, as minus 3 is less than 0. So we can say d is less than 0. So we can, so the answer is there are two different complex, there are two different complex solutions. Okay. So now let's do one more question. Oh no. Now we're going to do one more question involving D. Okay. So now let's do 
um, let's do 2x squared plus 6x plus 5 equals 0. Okay, so the first step is to label it A, B, and C. Okay, so the second step is to, de is to determine if, um, if our coefficient is odd or even. So in this case, um, oh, in this case it's an even number. So we're going to go D. So we're going to go D equals 6 squared minus 4 times times oh wait sorry sorry this is an odd number it's 5 I, I didn't see it. so it'll be 6 squared minus 4 times 2 times 5 so 6 squared is 36 minus 4 times 2 times 5 so minus 8 times 5 36 minus 40 and then 36 minus 40 is minus 4, which is less than 0. Okay, we can write it as, we can write, so, um, negative 4 is less than 0. So, we can write as D is less than 0. And D is represented by negative 4, which means there are two different complex solutions. Okay, so now let's do a question involving D over 4. Okay, D over 4. Okay, so let's write over here the formula, D over 4. And the formula is B squared minus AC. Okay, so basically, for, for a quadratic equation, the formula um, written also written as a, ax squared plus 2bx plus c is equal to 0. Okay, so for d over 4, the coefficient has to be even. So um, for d over 4, has to be even. Okay, so now let's do 25. Um, x squared plus 10x plus 1. Okay. Oh, it's equal to 0. Okay. So our coefficient in this case, um, so we're going to label a, b, and c. Our coefficient is 10. So we're going to go 5 squared minus 4, oh no, no, not 4, minus 25 times 1. Okay. Because I did b squared, b squared, so 5 to the power of 2, because I divide by 2 to, to get 5, I mean I, I halved it, and then I times, and then I times it by itself again, using the formula, and then I did minus a times c, a is represented by 25, and then 1 is c, so 25 times 1, so 5 squared is 25 minus 25. This time, um, our solution is equal to 0, which means D is equal to 0. That means there is a repeated real solution. There is a repeated real solution. Okay. <laughs>